So today's lesson is about displacement, speed and velocity. Displacement refers to the distance that an object has been moved from its starting position. Speed. We are talking usually about average speed and that's the total distance covered by an object divided by the time it took to move that total distance. What is the velocity? Velocity has both a speed component and a direction component. For example, it is not sufficient to state that an object has a velocity of 3 meters per second. It is necessary also to provide a direction. 3 meters per second north, on the other hand, could adequately describe the velocity of an object. If an object moves at a velocity of 3 meters per second north for 5 seconds and then moves 3 meters per second south, the opposite direction, for 5 seconds, it will have returned to its starting position. Hence, while its average speed will be 3 meters per second, its average velocity will be 0 and its displacement also will be 0. Let me show an example about displacement. A person runs a uh, one complete lap of 400 meter oval track in 2 minutes. So what is going to be the correct answer? A. The person's displacement is 400 meters. B. The person's displacement is 0 meters. C. The shape of the track is necessary to calculate the displacement. D. The person's average velocity is 200 meters per minute. And E. There is more than one correct answer. I'm going to give you a few minutes to think about, or you can pause the video and explain the correct answer after that. So we are talking about displacement in this lesson and we know that it refers to the distance that an object has been moved from its starting position. Since the person has run one complete lap, he has returned to his starting position. Therefore, the displacement is zero and the average velocity is zero too. The average speed, however, is how much? It's going to be 400 meters divided by 2 minutes and it gives us 200 meters per minute. And the correct answer is B. I think you understand.